So I was in the middle of coming up with new art projects to work on when I got a knock on my door and now I need to talk a little bit about color theory. First, we need to talk about light. Light travels in a series of wavelengths that can be broken down into short, medium, and long. These are picked up by our eyes as blues, greens, and reds. These three are what we call additive primaries. If you add them together, you can get to the most amount of other colors. This is the kind of color mixing that is happening on screens, which emit light. Each of the faces of this cube is coated in a film of either cyan, magenta, or yellow. You might recognize these as the colors that your printer uses about three times or so before requesting a new cartridge. These faces filter out particular wavelengths of light. Cyan filters out red light, magenta filters out green light, and yellow filters out blue light. So when we intersect the cyan and yellow faces, both red and blue light is filtered out and we're left with a green light. Cyan and magenta filter out to create blue light, and magenta and yellow filter out to create red light. Unlike your screen, this isn't adding light together, it's subtracting light from white light. This is why we call them the subtractive primaries. The subtractive primaries produce the additive primaries, and the additive primaries produce the subtractive primaries. Have fun. So what's the deal with this then? This is a classic painter's color wheel, and it uses red, yellow, and blue as the primaries. This is kind of an outdated idea of color mixing. It is meant to be more accurate to pigment mixing, which isn't really additive or subtractive, but integrative. Uh, it's far from perfect, and for more information on this, I would recommend checking out the Color Nerd channel, which I'll tag in the caption. Okay, thanks uh, for watching. Uh, if you want more stuff like this, uh, which I'm happy to do, uh, just let me know in the comments, and I will come up with some more ideas. Okay, love you. Bye.